Good morning, Jean. It's Sarah from Nanaimo Honda. I just wanted to, first of all, put a face to the name and show you um, a little bit about the 22 Civic Touring that you've inquired about. So this is the vehicle. It's that beautiful red color. So in the Touring, you'll notice a few things. You get LED headlights and LED fog lights. Beautiful rims and 18-inch uh, uh, wheels. Let's walk around the whole vehicle. Something quick I want to point out about the vehicle is that you will notice these dots on the bumper. And this is your parking sensor so you don't back into anything. Something unique to the Civic Touring for 2022 that Honda did is on the fob, if you open the trunk, it actually comes up all the way, which is super handy when you have your hands full of stuff and need to load your trunk up. You do get quite a decent sized trunk and you can pull down the seats from the back by pulling either one of those levers and it is a 60-40 split in the rear. Also on all the 22 Civics, including the Touring, you do have the blind spot on either side of the side view mirrors. Just hopping into the back really quickly here. All leather interior, quite spacious back seats. You do get heated rear seats in the Touring and you do get two USB ports below for your rear passengers so they could charge their devices. Coming to the front now, on the driver's side, you have your window and door controls here. You do have power seats on both sides of the front seats. Just a quick view of the inside, this beautiful redesigned interior. Something specific to the 22 Civic Touring that I also want to mention is the Bose sound system that comes in this trim level of the vehicle. You get 12 Bose speakers and a subwoofer, so the sound system is absolutely amazing. All right, so on the left-hand side um, where the driver sits, there the P is for your parking sensors. The off um, with the little car is your ve vehicle stabilization for bad uh, weather driving conditions. And Honda on the 22 um, Civics has put all of the Honda sensing safety features in one button, nice and easy access. All right, so coming to the wheel, you do get a heated leather wrapped steering wheel, which is a lot more comfortable than the previous models also. It's very nice when you're driving. Once you've paired your phone, um, you can control obviously your volume and whatnot for music or a phone call and skip through any tracks. You can speak to your car if you have um, um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, depending on if you're Apple or Android and you can scroll through here also, which I'll show you in just a moment. So this dial actually controls the right-hand side of your dash, so you can scroll through and change what you're looking at there. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel is where um, your cruise control features are. So to enable them, you click this button first. This is your lane keep assist and low speed follow and your adaptive cruise control and then to set your uh, cruise control speed. Now turning this dial, you can change what you're looking at on the right hand side of the dash. Something I also really want to talk about for the new Civic Touring is the um, screen display. So it used to be down below, but now it's raised up. So they actually lowered the dash so that way when you're driving, it's not blocking any of your view whatsoever. Very, very easy to navigate through and very responsive. So in the Touring, you will have navigation, easy Bluetooth pairing, your smartphone connection, Sirius XM, and lots more. So just down below here is where your wireless charger sits. And the reason I want to mention that with the screen display is because you get wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto with the Civic Touring. So with Honda's completely um, 
change to the interior design of the new Civics. We have knobs now, it used to be a little bit of a different layout. So you do have your heated seats here and here, and then to control your temperature, it's all knobs, which is really cool. And then your front defrost, rear and side view mirror defrost, AC, and then to change the mode of um, how your airflow comes through the vehicle. And just below here, you have your Apple CarPlay Android Auto plug-in if you choose to plug in, and it's a charger, and then just a charger, and then a normal little uh, lighter outlet there. So coming to some buttons below the gear shift, you do have one for drive mode. Idle stop um, is where the engine will shut off um, when you idle for long enough. If you come to a complete stop, your parking brake and brake hold. So brake hold is um, if you're in like a super long lineup or stop and go traffic, you can enable brake uh, hold so that way you don't have to keep your foot on the brake at all times once you come to a complete stop. Let's just focus on drive mode though. I think this is really, really cool. So you can change your drive mode by clicking it one way or the other. And again, looking in your dash, you have your um, sport, normal and econ. Your rear view mirror would be auto dimming. And if you do happen to have a garage door at home, you can program the mirror for your uh, garage door opener. And you have a nice little sunroof. Thank you so much for watching my video today, Jean. I hope this is helpful. Um, I'm here till about 3.30 this afternoon and back again eight to six on Saturday. So let's set up a time to have you in to come take a look at the vehicle in person and go for a test drive.